Stad Eindhoven. We were developed in 1920, so 100 years ago, because of the growing uh, of Philips industry. Five small villages were connected to the small city of Eindhoven because of the growing of the number of people that should be laboring there. When Philips moved out of our city, empty uh, places, empty factories, lost of jobs, but we survived in a way. And, and I found out in many cities, the same problem is happening at the moment. So uh, that's why I'm here to tell my story, how we got lessons from it. We have two industrial zones uh, going to the heart of the city. And one of them, the first, is used to be from Philips. And we were able to, to transform those zones from former factories into new urban zones in which we reused some of those factories for housing. So loft housing, as we call it. So it made the city uh, again attractive also for young people. This area of Philips is divided in five sides. The first one was the, the, the one we started with. I, I, it was my first job to create an urban plan for the whole area. Uh, and Philips didn't want to, um, they want to sell it at once in the, to the city, but the city didn't want to buy. <clears throat> so we made the, the city, me, I was my first job, to create an urban plan in which Philips could divide it into different parts, like a puzzle. And they were able to, to, uh, to sell these parts with the urban plan that we gave them. When I start to do this, I'm always looking for pearls, as I call it. So beautiful abandoned buildings <clears throat> uh, that can be transformed, that can show the first step in uh, reusing it and adding this value to the neighborhood. <clears throat> Most of the time, it are these are artists, let's say. They, they see the value. So they start to squat these buildings in the cities or to reuse them and to make them their own. But the, the, the function is that they added this value already. They made the first step. So the owner, it, if he's wise, he allows them to squat the building because it's, it's maintained in a way. People start to paint, uh, well, uh, and maintain it and to live in it. And after a while, people start to notice it. And there will be some small exhibitions and things like that. Although it's not the, the, the way that the, the owner likes to see this, but after a while, more people got see the value of it and investors they come up to this owner and said well maybe I would like to invest in your building to try to build some apartments some modern apartments in it I call it sexy urbanism because it made the city attractive again for a new generation <laughs> <laughs>